share screen. And there. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about create a marketing plan using pop buys. So, uh, you know, if you've watched Debbie and I videos, you probably heard the term pop buy a few times. And if you know anything about Brian Buffini, real estate coach, you've heard of pop buys. Yeah, <laughs> so, for sure. Not Popeye, Popeye's chicken, Popeye's. <laughs> and the, this is a really, I mean, I always love this since the first day I heard it, you know, decades ago through Brian Buffini's system. And, and still to this day, it's such a great marketing ideas and things to, that different uh, than other people do and see the value in not just trying to email or text or do the easy way of communicating with people's, you know, going the extra step of face-to-face -face showing uh, you're in an area and giving something of value gift to somebody. So we're going to go through these. So Deb, go ahead, run with it. Yeah. And we're not talking about huge money here that's why i made the play on words on the top on the first slide i don't know if you un saw that oh, because no, I, I put it that. as pop buys pop buys yes b-u-y-s even though it's pop buy because you want to right. pop buy someone's house <laughs> but i put the, that in there to remind everybody that it's not it's not really like buying someone's loyalty because you're not spending a ton of money you're just generating a slight little conversation with someone and rewarding them for their time maybe it's a funny pop by maybe it's a good pop by there's all kinds of different ways to do it but why do you want to do it because you want to generate referrals right maybe you want to do it because you want to be that go-to person in the neighborhood so you're farming a neighborhood and instead of just sending them pieces of mail that they're going to throw in the in the garbage you actually take the time now because it's nice weather outside and walk the neighborhood right and then pop by some people's houses now of course that is a what i call a blind pop by because they're not your clients so you don't know whether they're going to answer the door or even receive you but that doesn't mean that you can't do it uh, because you are trying to let everybody know that you are the go-to person in this neighborhood maybe you sold a house in that neighborhood so that's going to be your end. Hey, I sold the house down the street. I just wanted to let stop by and introduce myself. You know, this is not something where you're walking in, you're sitting down and you're having coffee or tea with somebody. It is a pop by. You're going to stand at the doorway. You're like, you're not even going to go in the house, right? You're just going to stand at the doorway and have a short little conversation so that you're not taking up too much time of uh, their time, I'm sorry, uh, with your things. Just a short little, I just wanted to introduce myself kind of thing. That's if you're trying to do a neighborhood, if you're trying to eat, uh, I'm sorry, if you're trying to remind people that you know that you want referrals and that should always be on your thing, even if they're new or old clients or people that you don't even know is, by the way, I'm never too busy for your referrals. Thank you, Brian Buffini, right? <laughs> because it's a great line. It is a great line to say to everybody, right? Exactly. And if you have it on the bottom of your card or if you have it on your little mm -hmm. tag and stuff like that, then you don't even have to say it. It's already there. Or maybe you want to stay on top of mind to people that you do know, right? So there's figuring out what it is you want to achieve with your pop buys is your first goal. That's right. Next. Um, so then you need to establish your budget. So um, part of your budget is going to be what it is you're going to give out. And that's also going to be commiserative to what time of the year it is or what is it that you're trying to achieve if it's a holiday or something like that. But don't go overboard with the stuff. Like I said, use dollar store items or shop online and buy them in bulk. And then you're just giving them out things. Every single week when we do these videos, I always have some kind of goodie at the end of it for you guys. Today's no exception, by the way. But it's either something that you can post online or it's something that you can do for a pop-by because this is your marketing. You guys are 
the CEO, the marketer, the executives, the mm -hmm the finance people, there. you're everyone, right? So you have right. to think of different ways to do that. And it's super easy because we're giving you all the stuff <laughs> right here in these training videos. Um, one of the things that you can do if you, if you need more suggestions is in your social media, like your Facebook, for instance, you know, sign up for different groups so that you can see what other people are doing. There's a whole group with pop by ideas where people bounce off different ideas to each other. I belong to that group. Where do you think I come up with a lot of these fun things, right? right. So right. <laughs> and what there's websites that sell these things. It, it, you know, search pop by ideas, you'll get websites or Etsy or you know different yep. things. So this is an, an idea that's going to help you establish your budget right? So for National Sunglasses Day, you're going to include a gift, a tag, and a business card. That's three bucks. You're saying, oh my God, three dollars for sunglasses because you're not buying designer sunglasses. You're going to go to somewhere like Amazon that I have on the left-hand side, and you can get 12 different colors of neon sunglasses for $16.99, right? You're putting one of those fun little sunglasses in the bag. You're putting your tag on it. You're putting your business card with it. It may take you a gallon of gas to get over to the neighborhood that you want to walk by, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got to figure out your time. So if it takes you a couple minutes to walk through the neighborhood, then it's like $10, $10 an hour. If it takes you two hours to walk through the neighborhood, then maybe it's $20 an hour. But at $10 an hour, it costs you $16 to do a pop buy. Mm -hmm. If you do 31 pop buys, it's 500 bucks. So you figure out your budget. If you can't do 500 bucks, then you spend $250 the first time and you do 15 houses. It's whatever you can figure out to do and the cheapest way to do it, right? So you don't have to buy stuff right exactly then. Figure out what you're going to do for the next few months and watch sales. You know, you're always watching your sales. Amazon always has their prime day, for instance. You can buy a bunch of stuff on there and save it for the next time you're going to do a pop buy right? There are a lot of people, um, agents that are successful and their pop buys include pies, you know, because mm -hmm. they want to thank their people. It's all about sorting out your people and who are you trying to hit? How much money are you going to spend on that person? Right. And also, yeah, just, and you could wait af after every sale when you have money for sure, take some of it, put it aside or use that time to buy stuff in a ahead of time. You know, no one likes to hear about like, oh, do this. And I'm like, I'm going to take $500 right out of my pocket. But if you have a, a $5,000 commission check coming, then take $500 out of that and budget it. And, right. And do it in advance. So it, it takes the sting out <laughs> easier when, when you have money coming in, you know? Right. Yep. So knowing your target audience is what really is going to help you also figure out what your budget budget is, right? So if you're hitting your past clients, maybe you want to do those fun little things just to keep on their mind and stuff like that. But maybe you want to go a little bit extra. Like I know Mike does the pie thing. He's done it every single year that I've known him. He's done the pie thing and he does it for his past clients. And it's his gift to them at the end of the year. And he, buy, he buys pies and he gives out a pie at the holiday season to all of the people that he uh, has done business sure. and, with. And, yeah, and you could easily budget that. Like say you had a, a client and say you were doing a pie once a year and, you want, and the pie is $20. Uh, you take $10, $200 out of each sale and you know for the next 10 years you have a, that money put aside to follow up with these people and give them something of value for, for 10 years. I mean, what, you know, and then what do people do with, you know, everybody usually moves within maybe five to seven years or seven to 10 years. Yep. So yeah, you have it, a 10 year plan 
and budget for each person. Now it's every person. So it's, uh, you know, if you have one client a year, it's once. If, you know, if you have 10 clients a year, it's 10 people. And it just as adds up as time goes on, but that money should be set aside in an account. You have your pot buy account, your, your pie account. <laughs> your pie account. And it's yeah, very you... easy to have that when you set it aside and, and just set it, set it up. So. Yep. When you're dealing with your sphere of influence, you know, I'm not saying hit everyone. You want to think about the people that you think will uh, refer you to others or give your information out to other people and stuff like that. If you have people in your sphere of influence that aren't going to benefit you in any way, then I'm not saying hit them. Don't waste your time on them. Waste, uh, spend your time and your money and your resources on people that will give you referrals or who have in the past. It's okay to give them a gift. We can't give money to people and stuff like that and pay them for referrals, but we can give them things like this, you know, and maybe your pop buy is going to be a little bit more expensive for those people. That's totally fine. You can do that, right? Um, it doesn't, but you don't want to say, oh, this is for the referral you gave me the other day, because we can't do that. But you can just stop by and, hey, I'm thinking about you kind of thing, right? Uh, if you want to do it by um, markets, you could go with first time home buyers, you could go with a geographical area, like I said before, and farming people out. Uh, maybe you want to try and hit renters to see if you can change them over to buyers, which is a great thing. Um, then you wanna see if you can hit apartment buildings, but when you're doing apartment buildings or condominium associations or even uh, planned unit developments, make sure you're paying attention to the no soliciting rules that they have. Um, if they have signs that say no soliciting, then that's you, you can't do it, okay? Exactly, Oop, there you go. There you go. All right. So to sum it all up, you want to strategize your year. You want to look for monthly opportunities such as holidays, different seasons and national days um, to use as your targets. Right. So the national days, uh, you can find that on the Internet and they have one for every single day. They have <laughs> numerous ones for every single day. So you can always pick your poison as far as that goes. Um but you want to be strategic when you're hitting people, right? So you want to hit considering selling periods, but also avoid busy times. So your selling periods, like maybe you want to make sure you're hitting people in the spring so they get thinking about selling their house in the summer and stuff. Busy times is what I'm talking about, the holidays. So you don't want to hit them the day before Christmas. Right. <laughs> They're not going to be receptive to you popping by, right? Yeah. But a couple of weeks before the holiday or something like that is a lot better than right smack in that day when they're going to be socializing with everybody else. Right. That's right. And also, yeah, um, if you do stuff for like Fourth of July or things that are non religious holidays, you know, might be better sometimes because you don't have to worry about, you know you know, wondering if someone celebrates something or not. And also you could plan ahead of time too and buy stuff like you said on sale and stuff. Go go for the sales on you know online or in the area after the holidays to prepare for next holiday. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, so uh, yeah I, and it I, also I, is I know I know somebody, I have a friend of mine that uh, for years always has a Halloween party the weekend after Halloween full week after because he, he goes out and buys decorations you know after halloween <laughs> cheaper candy cheaper everything and he, he just does it uh and also no everybody's you know the whole week after there's you know no one's really doing a halloween party you know right. the, almost the second weekend in november so well that's optimizing your interaction right <laughs> exactly. so that's on my list right there uh, you want the most out of whatever it is that you're doing. So if you're doing it on the off time, but it's for that specific reason, it'll work out. So here is a little um, idea of stuff that you can post on your social media. You can do summer trends in real estate um, and find your perfect summer getaway or 
you know, what people are doing in their yards and stuff like that. You can find all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to go back to this again, because I was talking about this last week or the week before or some such thing recently, but you can use um, keeping current matters. You can use the um, social media people that post on there. What the heck is their name? I just got a thing for it. Uh, engage page engage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. page engage has been having sales like crazy so even though it costs like 169 dollars a year or something like that uh i just got a flyer that it's 66 dollars for the next year or something like that sign up for that you guys that's super right. cheap super cheap and they had one like two weeks ago that it was 37.50 for the year on page engage so watch those i'm not saying you always have to go through all of that spam that you get but things that are going to help your business like that keeping current matters or page engage when they have those sales they're doing it to help you guys you know if someone just goes off the cuff and signs up for them they're gonna you're gonna pay what you pay you know but if you watch for sales then you can get them. Usually I'll tell you the next time they're going to have their sale. Cause I watch this stuff all the time is in the fall in the fall. They're going to have a sale right before the holidays because they know nobody has any money. So if you want to get your page engaged set up for the following year, you're going to buy in the fall. Right. Nice. So. Good tip. And then this one I thought was really cute. It's coming up on August 10th. It's National Spoil Your Dog Day. So, you know, you can do all kinds of fun things with this. Um, you can post that your dog needs a new backyard or <laughs> does your dog need a new backyard? I'm sorry. You know, or maybe, you know, some dog lovers in your neighborhood, send them little treats and stuff with your cards and everything. It's National Dog Day is coming up on August 10th. I mean... It's a perfect That's opportunity, good, yeah. right? Go to the dog park. And hand <laughs> exactly. Even out. better, right? Yeah, every city has a dog park these days. So you go hang out at the dog park and you hand out your stuff. I mean, they're all right there, you know, so. <laughs> Some good CE coming up. Yep, we do. We got Mike Ferrante has a couple classes coming up be a rock star with these 15 things civil rights for all of those who need it is going to be august 1st uh, august 31st is going to be core ethics if you need your ethics class and then september 5th is going to be credit scoring and fix your credit i do have a couple more coming up too that i have for the calendar but these are good um you got your fair housing, your core ethics. There's two of your core classes. I'm still waiting for a law class because I need that. So yes, um, everybody asks about those ones. It's always whatever is not showing. They ask about that one. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm letting you know, I'm on the lookout for a law class. As soon as I find out who's going to be doing one, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> well, good. Well, let's see. Stop sharing. Go there. Oh, there I am. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. And remember, reach out to Debbie or myself. Happy to help you uh, go over this more, but great ideas and things to keep your name and face in front of uh, people and more of uh, a personal note than just a random letter or email or text, knowing that you put a little bit of effort and there's uh, you spent money. <laughs> yeah, but all of that, you want to do all of those things. You want to do so all this of those things. This, this is, is in addition to just as exactly. a little different uh, added incentive for them exactly. to remember. Exactly. Got to go all angles. So that's yeah. it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.